Well, good morning. It is March 28th and um, I'm fresh home from my conference in Arizona and I got to spend a few days with some really lovely people and swim in a warm pool and be in nice weather. And I had some really great insight um, as I was holding people in the water. As some of you know, I float people. It's called Watsu. It's a type of therapy where you support another person um, in their process. You just float them in water and they get to keep their, their ears under and they get to go inward and find their inner child and just release all of that um, adult armor. Find the Peter Pan and let the Captain Hook go. <laughs> but what's special about um, the, the giver for me is I'm receiving at the same time. It's very spiritual for me. Um, I get kind of this time to pray and connect with my higher power as they're in their thing. And um, I got some messages I wanted to share with you guys. Hey, Shannon. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Glad you can make it. Me too. I started a little late because I my computer was being funny. I had to grab my husband's computer. But um, I wanted to share with you guys some of the messages I got um, from my higher power this, uh, this past week as I was floating some people. So when I left for my trip, um, I was, I was feeling my husband and I were angry with each other and we hadn't spoken in a few days. And um, as I was there, a friend of mine had told me she was mad at her dad and um, she wanted to let that go when we were floating in the water. And I imagined, and I was thinking about um, our spiritual body is much larger than our physical body, our ego. So it's like, we're just this little container, this physical body for something much larger, our, our spiritual body. And when I close my eyes and think about the people I love, I can connect with their spirit like this. I can imagine the people that have passed in my life and I can connect with them like this because we are just so big. You know, like I can feel my grandma, I can feel my grandpa, I can feel people that I care about, I can feel my sister who's still here, I can feel my husband, my kids, my mom. And it made me realize that um, I, can f I can love these people without having to like their behavior. They, they have their ego, they have their behaviors while they're here on this earth, but it has nothing to do with the love that I have for them for this bigger spiritual body that they have. So it, it instantly allowed me to forgive like everyone, <laughs> like literally everyone. <laughs> so I, it just was real interesting. And I wanted you guys to, to know that. So anyway, that was a big one that I got. And another lady that I floated, I felt the message I got was that we're, we are here on this earth to learn to love each other. And I was like, oh, wow. So everyone kept saying, I can't believe you gave me this big gift that you float me like this. And I'm like, I'm getting so much. <laughs> I'm like, Cause it's like, I get to listen to God as I'm in water floating these beautiful people. I get these huge messages and then I can come in, I can share. So it was a really big gift for me to be able to go and do that. But, and then learning how to use the oils and it was great. Anyway, but I'd love to hear from you guys, how you're doing. You want to share with Shannon? Well, Kim, I'm so curious how like those revelations, you know, how you use those when like, those behaviors or things come up again for your loved ones, how you're able to remember what you received in the floating and somehow press through the emotions and smile or I'm, I guess I'm curious because I know something, one of the practices that I used to do was when I found myself being triggered or whatever, I would 
replay that situation in my mind um, with me acting the way I want to act in the future instead of the way I acted. <laughs> so that if I'm placed in that situation again, it's kind of like I'm programming myself to have a different response. So I'm curious now that you have that revelation, now when people have these behaviors that normally would trigger you, how is it that you're going to say, uh uh uh, I'm doing a new thing now? I was just curious about that. Yeah, like as you're saying that, normally when I'm in a, in a situation where there's something I wish I had said, uh -huh. is usually I'm taken aback and I freeze and then I don't feel like I'm able to say, it, say what I feel as eloquently as it was in my head, oh. you know? So I'm hoping that I'll feel more like the spiritual connection other than getting stuck in my physical human response so I can be more ethereal. <laughs> well, I notice that I can detach with love <laughs> and the behavior you're displaying to me. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. So as we were um, playing around with oils at the same time, my friend Stephanie in her kitchen, she had her sister-in-law um, fly in from Colorado a little bit earlier than everybody else. And so they cleaned up her kitchen like a good sister-in-law. And um, so it was really nice having all the oils laid out in alphabetical order. And so I had the um, Essential Emotions app on my phone and we were able to say um, before everybody's floating session, what is it that you're feeling in your physical body or your emotions? We could look up what oil they needed, have them breathe it, have them say the affirmation out loud. So I really think that this can be applied um, to any modality or any meditation practice that um, use, use the oils and the affirmation and then create a, a physical thing that you can do to um, integrate the feelings to release. So whether it be yoga or you're gonna go on a walk or you're gonna dance or you're gonna get a massage, you know, just integrating it. So I don't know if you guys had thoughts on that. I think we lost Shannon. Her, maybe her Wi-Fi wasn't great. But yeah, so it's just, it's real interesting when you get a, when you get a, um, the ability to connect in a very obvious and physical way with your spirituality. So I just feel really blessed to have found that, um, that way, found my way back to connecting to back to God's love. So for me, it's in the water. And I hope everybody can, can find their way back to whatever it is that they connect to the, the, the feeling of God. Because for many years, I just prayed and prayed and prayed and I couldn't really feel God's love. And I feel it in the water and I'm starting to be able to feel it through people again. So yeah, and oils, oils help me get there. <laughs> Well, let's see. We've been on for a little bit and it's just kind of me talking. Something that um, I'm picking up that I need right now is Rose. I got really sunburnt while I was in um, Arizona and my skin is kind of reacting. So Rose has always really helped me with calming my skin down. You can see I've got this. I don't know, this is like a hive that's popping up. That might've been stress because I couldn't get the Zoom video. And then I've got this popping up from the sun sunburn. So I'm using rose and I'm gonna use tea tree today to kind of calm it down. Rose, tea tree and frankincense are really popping up for me. So if you wanna make, actually, if you wanna make a sun spray or like a toner, um, I took a spray bottle like a four ounce spray bottle. So Shannon's back. Let's see, hey Shannon. 
We lost you for a minute. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm traveling in the passenger seat and my signal is on and off, but you know, I didn't want to miss it. Oh, I'm glad that you're that you're back. Okay, I was trying to pin both of us. So I was given a recipe for a really nice um, toner and I made mm. one for a facial class, but it's also kind of like a rescue spray. If you're like, I just need something to, to calm me down or refresh. Mm. So I got really sunburnt while I was in Arizona and I just, just like my skin's reacting today and you can see these little spots. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'm going to make a spray um, today. So if you've got a sprayer, like a four ounce glass bottle, you can do five drops of frankincense, five drops of tea tree, two peppermint and one rose. Mm. So if you don't have the big bottle, the little bottle rose, you just have the roller, then just open the top and, and you can squeezy with a pipette. Just put like five, five drops. Okay. So, and then just the rest of the, the way water. I can type it in the chat if you want. Let me type it in. Um, if you've got the liquid aloe, the kind that you drink, like from the health food store, you could put like a third of the bottle of the aloe. But it means that you need to keep the sprayer in the fridge, which is actually quite lovely if it's cold. Because <laughs> uh, is it? it's not getting warm yet in Pennsylvania, huh? No. <laughs> Very cold here. <laughs> okay, so four ounce sprayer. And you want one drop, rose, five, tea tree, two peppermint. Um, and then what else did I say? Oh, five franc. And then one third um, aloe and the rest water. There you go. I put it in the chat in case you want it. But yeah. Um, did you have anything that you want to share, Shannon? I'm just at a very grateful place. Like I'm very, very grateful. I always check in with myself in the morning based on those scale of emotions. And today I desire to manifest more faith mm -hmm. because what I realize is that when I go through these cycles in my life, when I just went through a low point and then I give everything I have to God and surrender everything. And then I realize, wow, that's the key to my success is surrendering to, to the most high. So then I'm like, well, man, how can I maintain that? What is that? Why I don't do that? And I said, maybe I need more faith. So I looked up faith in the emotions book and it, it gave the oil of sandalwood as far as assisting with faith. And then I just love the verbiage for sandalwood. So I've kind of been placing sandalwood on my forehead mm -hmm. because uh, again, it sounds kind of cliche that, you know, because I have that relationship with God, I really have everything, but it's true. So sandalwood reminds me of that. And I even like the trilocha sandalwood incense. You know, that's really my favorite. That's my favorite incense, like sandalwood. I love... Like I always think about, I mean, this is kind of Shannon, but I always think about like God represents frankincense, the Holy Spirit represents myrrh and Christ represents sandalwood, you know? And so there's an incense that has those three in there. And, you know, so that's kind of, I've really been at a very good place because I've been at a very good place spiritually and I'm seeing everything else work out because of that. So I'm very, very grateful to be once again, back to myself and I love how sandalwood and the emotion books it talks about like trusting yourself you know trusting your inner spirit the only time I have any issues is when I try to be someone else or try to do what other people are telling me to do um so that's kind of my revelation since last time so sandalwood I'm it feels so good and nice on my forehead and it smells so nice oh yeah I love that you know what? I've got this. I, I think that you read the sandalwood from the essential emotions book, but do you want to hear what it says from this other one I have? Oh, that would be great. Thank uh, you. So 
I don't know if you guys have seen this book. No, I've never heard of that one. But it's great. Elements of Emotion. And um, she's an acupuncturist. So her point of view comes from kind of more of a Chinese medicine. Mm. But I, I think the back of it is funny because you know how they say we're just, we're just, um, you know, a human having a spiritual experience yes. on the planet. The, her, her thing says a plant is a spirit having a plant experience. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. Um, but her point of view on, on um, the oils is just a little different. So I'm going to read it to you. Let's see if there's a different one for Indians and Hawaiian. Which one did you use, Indian or Hawaiian? I don't even know. <laughs> there's two different ones that doTERRA has. One is, um, it just says sandalwood, and then the, there's one that says Hawaiian sandalwood. I think I just used the one that says sandalwood. <laughs> okay, yours is Indian. Okay, Indian I like sandalwood. The, I like the nutty, it's nuttier. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so for Indian sandalwood, the temperature is warm. The channels are lungs, spleen, and stomach. Uh, the, the elements are metal and earth. The physical actions, it circulates chi, that means energy. It tonifies the spleen. It moistens the lungs and uterus and resolves damp. Mm. In, in Chinese medicine, they're always talking about this damp. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it has a lot to do with the organs and, and helping them be unblocked. The spirit of Indian sandalwood journeys us back to our center. After a long season of attending to numerous details and closing out important projects, it can be a challenge to calm, calm ourselves and regroup. A significant energetic transition is required to go from rushing around one minute to calm and collect at the next. We often see this when it comes to managing a home with multiple rambunctious children. Day after day, get used to the energetic requirement until you are dropping them off with another caregiver to head for a much needed vacation. The change in pace is stark and can be challenging to settle into. Thankfully, sandalwood quiets our mind, instills proper breathing techniques, techniques and nudges us toward being present with our body. It's interesting, right? There's a, there's a lot more, but I do really like this book. If you um if you wanted a different point of view, and she also gives because what's really funny is that's my whole world as far as traditional Chinese medicine. I actually do my qigong movements based on my emotions, mm. so I'm very very familiar. Like we had, it's like prescriptions for, you know, if you're angry, that relates to the liver. So you do these movements. So I'm like, that's right up my alley. That's like, that's what I discovered. Cause at first I was learning about the chakras several years ago, mm -hmm. but I found the five element theory resonated more with me because it was related to the organs. And yeah, so that's, that's like right up my alley. Cause you're like, well, what kind of traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture? And I'm like, yeah. That's right up my alley. <laughs> so thank you so much for sharing. I had no idea. You know, we should do um, something with that. Let's talk about, you know, where we can create some movements. People would love a class like that. Let's do it. Yes, absolutely. I want to learn that. I had a, a guy that, this was back when I was like 18. And I was maybe 19. It's when I first went to rolfing school. And the people that hosted me, I lived in their basement. And he said, I want you to come to a Qigong class with me. And I went with him and I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't understand. <laughs> it was taking me this long to come back to it. So the recipe that she gives for, um, maybe you would be able to read this better than me. It's D-U-I, that's the first word. So I think it's Du Yao. Does that sound familiar? I'm not familiar with pronunciation of that, but um, I'll send okay, you a picture. I'll go with it. <laughs> so she says, "Do Yao." This is her recipe for the Indian sandalwood. Is Indian sandalwood and Lang Lang? It changes pace from outward activity to inward reflection. Or there's Indian sandalwood and lavender. 
enhances listening skills to understand the organ's needs. Ooh, I'm gonna do that. Wow. Okay. And then the next one is Indian sandalwood and bergamot provides direction needed to bring organs back to their center. Hmm. Okay. I'll take a picture of this to send to you so you can see. And she's got a diffuser blend. It's called slow motion diffuser blend. Two drops sandalwood, one langling, one lavender, one bergamot, and two eucalyptus. It says, see what needs to be corrected. Add the drops of each essential oil in order to the diffuser of your choice. When you wanna see the mishaps and inefficiencies that need improvement, diffuse slow motion. You'll see the play-by-play -play in great detail. Diffuse this blend to see what's needed to, to be corrected. You'll improve the flow of chi and blood within the body, mind, and spirit. Transition into a yin cycle. Obtain valuable insight. Slow down in order to speed up with proficiency. Wow, I guess that's what we all need is balance and, and find our, our female side so that we can feel. That makes me happy. Okay, I'll make sure I, I text that to you. Thank you, and I think Michelle said, please send it to me too. <laughs> Michelle, or did you text me last week, I think, and then we have each other's number, so I will send it to you, yeah. Cool, well, um, so I wanted to run something by you. Do you guys know how to do the aroma touch technique? I'll tell you, Kim, you're, you're very spirit filled because I'm on my way right now to give one. Like I'm on the passenger side. I I have a co-working space I work out of uh -huh. and my husband is driving me there. I have a massage table, my oils, and I'm gonna bless one of the sisters from church with one. So, <laughs> so um, I want to, what they talked about at this doTERRA leadership is they really want us to connect with people because everybody just wants touch. They're like, that's what we need for this healing. So I want to do a online aroma touch, like an hour where you have a partner and we're gonna all follow along and, you know, so that we can teach people how to do it. So I'll, I'll be setting that up and you guys can, um, I'll send you the link so we can do that. That's that kind of my plan. Amazing, amazing idea. Yeah, because the part that they don't teach you in the aroma touch technique is they don't talk about the emotions of each oil. They talk about the physical parts, but they don't talk about the emotional parts. So that's kind of the piece I want to layer up with it so that as we're showing people like, okay, we're going to start with balance. And then they say, well, you know, balance helps to separate your cells so that they can go do the work they're supposed to do. And it grounds you back into your body so you can receive. But, you know, they don't say like, oh, like, what does it say in the book about balance? Let's just see. So that's something I should do. I need to make a guide that shows the emotions of each oil. So you can have that, you know, on hand so you don't have to keep looking it up in the book. So I'll work on that today for you guys. So we can all have that. Cause I feel like that's a piece that needs to be addressed for people. So balance is primary com combination of tree oils and roots. Trees live in the present moment. They're not in a hurry, they're stable. The soft energy of balance is excellent for calming overactive children who have difficulty settle settling down. It's also a wonderful remedy for those who need to connect with their roots. Balance strengthens a connection with the lower body and with the earth. These connections are especially important when the upper faculties have been overused due to excessive thinking, speaking, or spiritual activity. Yeah, that's true. Very true. So is that something that you guys would like to have a guide for the emotions as you do these aroma touches for people? That would be amazing. Okay, I'll put it together for you. Sounds good. Hopefully I'll get to meet you one day soon. I probably will be in California either May or June. And oh, yeah. 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 What part are you coming to? Um, Long Beach where my sister lives. Oh, you, you mentioned that. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm not too far from there. 
I know. So that's something. Because I remember I wanted to bless her with Aroma Touch and all of that. So this summer is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah, I want to plan um, out in Palm Springs. So maybe that would work out. So if you guys come out to Palm Springs and stay the night, I'm going to Watsu and I'm going to do a business training. So it's going to be like a, a, a business retreat where you come and you get training about the oils and how to share them effic efficiently in this world climate. And um, I want to float everyone so that they can release their fears and, you know, whatever it is that's holding them back from, you know, experiencing life the way they want to. That's basically well, maybe, maybe once you know when that date is, whatever, I can kind of build my trip around that because I haven't set dates yet. I just know I'm overdue. Um, so I'll kind of wait to get those details and I'll build my trip around that. Okay. Yeah. Because I mean, if you're going to come to California, you guys, you, you guys could take the, the freeway to get over there. It wouldn't be too long. It'd be like an hour and a half drive from Long Beach to Palm Springs. Yeah, we, that's one of the things we always do. That's my, one of my new favorite places. And being an ocean girl, I was so surprised how serene Palm Springs was to me. Like how the mountains follow you. I mean, in my ideal world, I thought of getting like an investment property there. Like it was, you know, yeah, it was just a magical place. I couldn't believe how much I loved it. So every time I go, that's one of the things we do is drive to Palm Springs. Oh, cool. All right. Well, see, it was all, it was already in the making. <laughs> yeah, over this whole week, um, we were all together. There was 20 of us staying in one house. And um, it was basically, that's what it was. It was a retreat to refill our cups and learn and relax. And so that's kind of where I want to take, you know, my business is getting people together in that space and learning in that way because it, it's it's nice to learn online but when you get together like that there's just so much more you know so it's that's the plan <laughs> and you're welcome too michelle i know you're on you're on mute well you guys have a beautiful day and i'll be thinking of you me too. You do the same. Thanks for everything that you do for the community. I mean, it's it's really life changing. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you for showing up. More than one person has mentioned to me. They said, "I just love that, Shannon." I'm like, "I know, me too." Oh, that's really <laughs> sweet. Michelle, where are you located? Sorry, I just got uh, Dallas. Oh, Dallas. I'm in okay. Dallas. Yeah. Nice. Well, you ladies have an amazing week. You bye. as well. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks for coming.